guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest i don't know if i trolled my own start so they didn't want to do things with me or if they don't even know the start but either way we're getting trolled i got i got here late so i can't blame them what what is this are you kidding me man they brought it over to mid and then they went to smalls that makes no s i am i am so confused well we're gonna be starting off scuffed i get to have half a level less for no reason and they pulled it wrong anyways so yeah, this is actually kind of a good look at what I've been having lately, which is why we've been having a big gap in videos. Um, I have been loving Season 10. I have been far from loving Season 10 matchmaking. It's been the worst I think I have ever seen in my life. So, it's been pain lately. Um, I have wanted to get better quality videos. It has been physically impossible. It's been tilting me. That tilt has led to me having even games that actually end up being kind of okay. I a lot Like, I've had games I've just tilted out of recording because I'm just annoyed. Because I'm just annoyed. It's been frustrating. So I'm trying to kind of get past it. And hopefully we can get back to a regular recording schedule. But with that said, um, getting past it is going to mean lower quality games. Because that's just what there are. Straight up. That's just what there are. They're just way lower quality right now. So be warned. Matchmaking might be a little potato in upcoming videos. It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. I'll try and get lots of... Uh, we're, we're probably going to be having a lot more part two, part threes for the, the near foreseeable future. Aside from ranked. Uh, and ranked's been worse too, so I'm less likely to play it right now than, <laughs> than I was planning on being. Yeah, it sucks. We are literally, every trade right now, we're going to be a level down. I'm kind of deleting him anyways, as you can see by him being dead. Um, but yeah, it sucks not having that extra level matters a lot. Not enough to not kill him, but it does matter a lot. What's he building, by the way? I can't read. Bluestone, bunch of pots. Okay. So, yeah, we're playing Al Kwong in the solo right now. If you guys have played any ranked, at least if your ranked games are anything like mine, you have probably not been able to play Al Kwong or play against an Al Kwong because he's permabanned. And there is a reason that he's permabanned. He is disgusting right now. Can you stop? Clear the wave. Stop being weird. Clear the wave. Guan. Yeah, his heal actually heals through my three. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, I don't have a ton to work with. I just have to eat this to the face. Yeah, I just kind of got to eat it. Oh my god, I thought that would reach. It was like barely out of range. There's this tiny little sliver out of range. Give me the thing, so I have some mana again. We're out of blue buff right now. I legit might die if I get ganked. It is what it is, man. I need that little bit of mana. I am going to be a little bit trolling myself with this build. We are committing very hard to a fun auto attack Al Kwong build where we are going a bunch of rings in the new acts of animosity, which is basically animosity, but it's got better stats and you can actually build it because the starter item is not a potato support item. So pretty good, right? Pretty good. But the downside of that, um, this is like one of the lowest MP5 items I can build in solo. Meanwhile, Death Toll is just straight up OP on Al Kwong. So you do lose some early game. You definitely lose a lot of mana sustain. We're also not building mana sustain because we're going a bunch of rings. But we also do a billion damage once we get those rings going. Um, and honestly, in the early game, just through Al Kwong. But especially getting Telkines and getting Cyclopean, Al Kwong has a super fast auto attack chain, which means we can absolutely dumpster with all those auto attack procs. It's really gross. And then, of course, once we get X Animosity, we can dumpster with that, too, because that's going to be the, uh, what is it, 2.5% of their health is magic damage. And if we go Demonic, we actually have some prot shred, so that hits a little bit harder than it might otherwise, stuff like that. We can get close to the attack speed cap. So, yeah, ooh, is he, he's got Guanal, he's probably fine. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> yeah, I kind of touched on it, so Skipper asked me, I, like, just got on, he asked me if I wanted to Q ranked, and I was saying, not right now. <laughs> he's like, never mind, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's been mostly my experience lately, too, man. We will still be playing some ranked, but it has, all the games have been kind of painful lately. I think it really is just... It is what it is. It is what it is. There's been a lot of different matchmaking shifts to start the season. I think that's most of what it is. I'm sure there's also a lot of returning players that have kind of changed matchmaking ratings. You're so greedy, man. Why didn't he ult? The hell was it? By the way, the reason I ulted him the way I did is to specifically, we wanted to get him low as fast as possible to get him an execute to not give him the chance to ult. But I don't know why he did. Like, he, he hasn't ulted at some point, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm not just forgetting something. I'm pretty sure he hasn't used it. And he's just greedy as hell and he thought he could hold it. As if I don't do a billion damage on my own. All right, let me go get Telkines. Let me get this. 
So left to see with the Alquang Solo, I have already played a bunch of games. I have not recorded a bunch of games, but I've played a bunch of games with Alquang Solo either yesterday or the day before. Um, I was getting, I think I have forced three rage quits and I think I have had one game that went longer than 20 minutes and it barely went longer than 20 minutes, if I remember right. And that was only because they absolutely refused to F6. So this pick is disgusting. Okay, Alquang absolutely farms right now. And there is a reason that he's excused. No, come here. Let me do the haste thing. I guess it's not the haste thing. The, uh, oh God. The, the shard thing. Sir, I am trying to three. There we go. Assuming we don't get ganked by the jungler that is actually dead, I think we're okay. And then he dies. Although I did use a bunch of those on the wave, so maybe he doesn't die. I think I played that kind of troll. If I didn't two, if I didn't two three the wave there, and I just focused on killing him, we probably could have. Because if you guys don't know with Alquang, when you pop your two and then you three, just a variety of enemies, whether it's minions or gods or whatever, then each each person that gets threed with the two is gonna have a dragon on them. So you're kind of wasting those auto attack dragons a little bit. Which can be kind of bad. This guy does not like clearing wave, does he? Not one bit. And the downside to not liking clearing wave is that's the only way that he wins this lane. Because I just do more damage in PvP. It's like specifically the thing he's better at is I cannot break his three. His three clears the wave. My three's not so good at clearing the wave. I don't have much mana. If he just does this, he has like way more of a chance. But instead he keeps going for these poke battles that I just kind of win. Eventually he can out-sustain, hypothetically. But normally he's only actually out-sustaining because he has TP and uh, yeah. That, that's literally it, just because he has TP. Because it's easier for him to get back from dying or from backing. Because even with his heals, it doesn't matter that much right now. He just hit so hard. All right, I think we just dip. I have nothing to do. Totem probably comes up in a sec, but I don't really care. All right, let me get one of these just in case, just in case we actually need them. So yeah, this build right now, Telkines has been reworked so that we get scaling from levels instead of scaling from power. It also looks like it has potato stats. Keep in mind, this item is way cheaper than it used to be. And the main stat you care about with Telkines is the passive. So this looks like a garbage item on paper. If you ignore the passive too much, it looks like a garbage item. However, the passive hits hard enough and it's cheap enough. It's actually a giant power spike item. Um, and it's still capable of shredding pretty hard late game as well. You're just really lacking on stats, which matters less for mage ADCs because they get way less of a power bonus than um, than physical ADCs because mage autos get 20% scaling from power. Physical autos get 100% scaling from power. So that's, you know, that's a five times difference. Normally you get double magical power, but that's still a giant difference. So yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty big shift. What are we, what are we doing here, man? I don't have my two, so I can't really do that much, but, but bang. I do so little at stupid Genjis. Yeah, he's definitely, he's gonna need it. I've gone against a few people that didn't just bum rush magic defense. It did not go well. And he's also Guan, and that's just normal on Guan. But as you can see, like, we're still capable of doing damage. It's just kind of underwhelming, and I have to use a ton of mana. So ideally, what's gonna happen here is he probably won't go double magic defense, because <laughs> he's not gonna be tanky at all against jungle. Normally, he wouldn't do that. And if he doesn't go double magic defense, I can scale up a bit, and I can finally get my two leveled. And then my two will shred him really hard. We'll be able to rely on that a little bit. So yeah, Telkine starts at 10 damage, goes up to 70 damage right now from the passive. And then Cyclopean Ring, we can take a little peek at in a sec. Oh my, I'm trolling. I could have gotten more damage off the shard right there. Yeah, look at how much of that damage is from Telkine's right now with all this defense that he has. Look how dumb that is, man. Got him so close to kill. I don't think I have the mana for it. Totem maybe helps. Totem maybe doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, because he's got the mana to keep spamming dash, and I can't really keep up with his dash spam. I have to one for it every time. Oh, we did bait a little bit. He's just going to run. He's just going to run, man. <laughs> I want to go invade his blue, but it's too stupid. I have so little mana. So Cyclopean Ring does this. It's kind of like an auto attack Soul Reaver where... Can I greed for cooldown buff? How dumb is it? No, he's on it. Um... You get 8% of their magic max HP as a uh, magical damage auto attack proc, just in case I'm going to shred this. Yeah, just in case he went for an invade. And then you can get a 10 second cooldown from that, but it'll reset two seconds per successful auto. So you can reset it really fast with somebody that has high attack speed or especially in the case of Alquang, a really good auto attack chain where we can do both. 
That's all. What? Hi, Rez? What? Yo, am I the only one seeing that this man hit me on his horse? You are so dead, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I get to do anything about this. Yeah, boys. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that was such a random three-man gank for Dashi. I feel like it was meant for me and she took the entire thing. It was just random. Silve rotates, Thana finally rotates. Dashi just has to deal. Alright, we're just gonna sit on this real quick. Yeah, when we're autoing gods, we get two seconds off that long cooldown. So if you don't if you don't hit those autos and it just has a 10 second cooldown, this item sucks. It's really underwhelming. Super bad. If you are hitting these autos and you're getting more procs, then it's similar to Telkines. You're normally getting very similar damage um, spread out over your autos where it's kind of burstier with this, where it's like, oh, one big hit, few autos, another big hit, few autos, another big hit. Whereas Telkines is just lots of little hits, right? But anything to buff that Mage ADC auto attack damage is normally going to be nice because they just don't really tend to have items that do all that much. And so this is a little something new. And it's something that Alquan can use really well with his auto attack chain. What are we doing, Quan? We goofing? It's getting to that point where I do things to you. And I didn't one shot the wave. Actually in a lot of trouble here. But I want to greed this. So close, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of painful, man. Look at my mana bar. <laughs> like, I had blue buff. I think I might have had totem in the beginning. I don't remember. And I'm just, I'm just oom, because I'm not building MP5. So normally for a more serious build that is going to be way better, I would recommend going Death Toll. If you don't want to full commit to the auto attack damage memes, go Death Toll. Death Toll's disgusting. You can go Death Embrace late game. It makes you tankier. You get crazy MP5, crazy, um, or not MP5, but like mana sustain from the procs and health sustain from the procs. Really, really good item. But you don't get to go Axie Animosity late game. So that's the only reason we're building this. Warrior's Axe is okay. It's really not that great on Alquang though. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. This man is straight up <laughs> Stone of Binding Genji's Guan. So he's absurdly tanky, right? He has 160 magic prot right now. And I am just shredding him. It's so gross. All right, we're going to be going mostly normal overall Alquang build, where I'm actually trying to go a ton of damage. Not normal for Alquang solo, but normal like Alquang jungle build. Trying to go a ton of damage, but we're going to be going rings instead of going stuff like Bancroft's Poly, Spear of Magus, stuff like that that, it'll, that a lot of time you'll build on him. We're just going to delete with the two. And since we're against a tanky solo, we'll go demonic next. And then we will actually go hastened, which is sometimes good. Sometimes it's kind of pointless and garbage, but other times it's nice. Ao Kuang is somebody that hits so hard that you don't really need to land the entire two normally because they just kind of die at some point in the middle. So haste gets a little bit worse on him because of that. You don't need to just stick to him forever like Baka or Arachne. I mean, don't build haste on Arachne because she has her web. But, <laughs> but if she didn't have her web like it would, right? So that you could actually stay close to people. Stop it. All right, let me actually try a little rotation right here. See if we get to do anything. Yeah, I wonder, we can probably... I guess Cyclopean doesn't proc on the, the Fire Giant. I wonder, you might be able to just absolutely shred Fire Giant with his Alquang build, but maybe not. I guess Animosity procs, right? I'm pretty sure yeah, Animosity procs. Nice, we got a big body block right there. I like, I auto so fast, I kind of trolled through Soul Aegis there. Oh, so close. I even tried to, I straight up executed off of the dashi damage, like in advance. I just kind of pre-fired it, and it worked, but not quite fast enough. That's too bad. I'm not sure. I think dashi just wanted to help me actually kill her. I, I'm assuming she could have gotten out, right? I wasn't really paying attention to where she'd been, but I think I could have killed her just fine anyways. <laughs> damage man he's a tank so it's not like it's not overall that crit can you stop doing guan things look at that cooldown look at the genji's impact yeah he's gone but that's still a decent bit man to a boy that tanky in that mobile we're kind of shredding him my my buff All right, i think we have demonic money we'll back for it in a sec Try and go grab a blue buff real quick. Go for a little totem proc real quick. That's something I keep having to do with this. Whenever I've been playing this Alquang solo, I always have to do that little that little dip my toe into tower for totem, assuming I have it. 
because I just I never have mana, man. I always need every little bit, every drop I can get. All right, so the attack speed's getting there, right? We're up to two right now, a little bit over. So hasten ring and then levels will get us to something like 2.3, and we're gonna leave it there. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Like I don't think I don't think it'll really be worth. I could actually go toxic blade this game. They actually have a lot of healing. I'm assuming it would legit be better to just go to vine. Because you really, it doesn't matter. Like, we're going to overcap attack speed with any of these other items we can go. And they're not that important. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what the last item will be. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> I wanted it, man. Can you come here so I can actually kill you? Yeah, look at, I don't need the two. Look at that damage. Ao Kuang 2 is specifically his ability that hits absurdly hard. And look at the amount of auto damage we do to this tanky boy. We goofing? Guan? We goofing? <laughs> like, I don't even need ult this. I don't know why he did that. I held my one right there because I assumed he had ult in order to play it that way. So I held the one just in case, even though it would have made it way quicker to potentially kill him. It was also a way to potentially throw it. Yeah, if they want to come left, I'm down. I'll just start turning. Would not mind a gank. Oh, okay. Fine. Do objective. Whatever. Yeah, I need somebody to spice my lane. Give me a Thana gank. The one time they did gank, they just killed my jungler. <laughs> they just saw Daji and ran at her. Poor Daji. Oh god, don't do it. Alright, maybe I gotta maybe I gotta piss off Thana. Maybe we need some invades right now. Get that mental impact. Ooh, speaking of which. Look at that. I'm going to hold my two right now just in case he's actually like around in case he shows up. But he's not. He's mid. On my way. Might be able to turn this into something. You should probably stop with that guy. Of course, they should know where I am because of Shurnabog ult now. So that's kind of kind of rough. And there's also, I think, an entire team here. So I probably got to be a little careful. Your middle tower. Can oh, God. Hang on. Let me get let me get a little sneaky real quick. Are you kidding me, man? There we go. Alright, I'm just trying to peel. I'm just trying to peel. I couldn't even tell. It looked like he beads, but I think he beads late. We knocked up Thana, right? Yeah, I just wanted to ult him off because he's about to shred my face. He's super fed in general. So, because I was really hoping we could execute Soul there. And be a little greedy. But not quite. Not quite. No tell kinds? Oh, she's disrespecting the build. On Soul of All Gods, too. Yeah, you guys will have to get ready. If you're not a fan of um Soul ADC, Freya ADC, and Oleran ADC. See if she'll come over to this. You're gonna have to deal with it. It's gonna be it's gonna be happening. Oh nice. <laughs> That's so much damage, man. Yeah, seven autos did 300 to Thana. Got two Proxy Cyclopean for 200. Yeah, oh my god. He really thought he got an up down at 100% HP, as if me and Taj are gonna instantly one shot him for standing still. That's so gross. We're actually on a pretty good farm pace this game. I feel like it doesn't stand out that much because their team's kind of farmed. I'm, I'm way ahead of my team right now. If we can keep it going a bit and I can get level 20 at around a 20 minute pace. Okay, I should probably not greed too much. Thanda's back up. Um, but if we can kind of like hold that pace a little bit longer, then I can get hasten done right now and I can get acts of animosity done really quick. And the power spike should be crazy. I might be able to just like temporarily swing the game. We'll have to see. I have to see if I actually get to do it or not. Because this thing does slap, especially when we got the prot shred. Like, not only do I get really tanky, because it's still, for some reason, I don't know why, man. They left they left Heroes Act stats on and literally swapped the passives, which I feel like is ridiculously lazy. I don't know why they did that. But I'm kind of, you know, I'm one of the few people that'll buy this. So, hey, thanks for the OP stance. Thanks for the God stance. You get 70 total prot, 300 HP, a 30% CCR, and an actually nasty passive. Well, nasty on some gods, kind of garbage on most gods. 
All right, hopefully they can hold on a little bit longer while I greed, while I greed for farm and I push a tower. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anyone's surprised. Yeah, they're fighting at gold. I can't even get over there in time to do much anyways. So I'm gonna try and get what I can while I'm over here. And I'll try and make sure they don't go for FG in a sec. Oh my god, give me the wave. Eh. Give me the speed buff. Fine. Wait, can I just delete you real quick? You, uh, you gonna start what? Kills too, <laughs> this guy's been having a rough game, though. He's super bind. He's 0-7. Yeah, I figured there, if we blink on him and we hold the one, there's, like, no way he can dash away from me, I don't think. I don't think I get to do a Phoenix. They're not on this thing yet, right? I don't hear him on it. But, but Hazen Ring did a little bit right there. Come on, a little bit more. Yeah, let me get a Potato Ward. And with the Axe, we'll actually rotate. And I'll try and delete the team. And the big challenge is going to be staying alive is a fairly squishy Alquang, although these prots will help. So yeah, 2.5% max HP is damage. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. That would be like if you had literally no auto damage and they had no prots, it would take 40 autos to kill somebody. I guess that doesn't sound that good. <laughs> but <laughs> if you if you have this item, the passive alone would take 40 autos. Is that good? Maybe that also doesn't say it's good. Okay, it's good. I'm telling you. But it's also just kind of like a second tell kinds. It's not like an absolute game changer, insane item. But when we auto super fast like we do, it definitely is going to stand out a bit. Alright, hopefully we actually get to rotate to this and we can group up a bit. Yeah, Medusa's on the other side of the map, so it might not be a good fight. I don't know. I should be able to shred the tank if I want to. I'm assuming it's not worth... I want the Thana, man. I literally cannot reach him. That sucks. Was that was that Brawlers? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've noticed Brawlers. I think that was the new Brawlers passive right there on the ground. Oh, they're going that way. Oh! <laughs> yeah, group up! Group up! Give me the execute! Give! We're killing everybody. Where are we going? No, we're not. No, we're not. Hang on, we get Hasten Ring in a sec. And then he dies. <clears throat> yeah, you having fun? Yeah, so the Ao Kong does go a little bit hard as we, as we get late game. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the numbies! <laughs> I swear these are hitting harder than my autos. Oh, nice. All right, let me bank it up. Yeah, what do we need, right? Do I just need Divine? I probably just need Divine. We got some Prot Shred with autos. My abilities without the Prot Shred are not going to hit hard at all, because even though I have power, you know, we have literally no percent pen. So that just kind of is what it is. We're going to be focused on the two for damage. It's fine. And then hopefully we can get this done pretty soon and actually anti-heal, like, their entire team. Yeah, Chernabog matters probably the least. Because he just has Devos. They have, they have a ton of healing on this team. Oh, I entered. Oh? Maybe not quite? Maybe no, maybe no Thana ult? I really thought I could one-shot her, honestly. I got a little greedy. I thought I could do it. All right, do I life seal at all? Eh. Yeah, we got a little baby bit from Telkines, but not too much. All right, hopefully we can actually group up, get a decent fight. Also, hopefully Daz, you won't hate me if I grab a speed buff. There's two now, right? It's less troll. I think we should be able to do that. And go, go yoink this one real quick. How much damage did I do to Soul there? I can't believe she lived through that. Was it actually lifesteal? It might have been. That was that was a lot. That might have been a ton of lifesteal and healing. 
Because it looks like, like, I'm just doing quick math, but I think that was well over 2k. How much HP you got? Yeah. I mean, she maybe would have been 1 HP. From what I remember, she was like a third HP, though. Oh, Chernabog, no. Where are we going, man? You better be... There we go. Yeah, you better do the up-down. All right, hopefully they get to kill him. Yeah, he does either have to up down on me and die or just hope he can live over there. And it looks like he got to live over there. I'm coming, boys. Should actually be a good fight as long as they don't just die. Yeah, hopefully we can go on him here. Oh? Oh? I don't think he expected that to go that bad. All right, we got still volt off that. Yeah, I am baiting so many ults right now. Oh, that sucks. She died in the air. That's unfortunate, man. All right, melt him. Nice. That should be game, I think. Guan, don't dip. No dipping. There we go. All right, Dana should be up kind of soon. I think that's all we got to worry about. And Oni minions are putting in work on Left Phoenix. Yeah, I think we got time, boys, right? And it's it's new weak Titan. It's new potato Titan. Oh God, please no Thana execute. He might do it to me. Oh, you're just gonna send base? Okay. <laughs> nice. Surprisingly, we got a long game. We kind of got to balance things out. Things didn't go great across the map. They kind of went okay. Like like Medusa won ADC. I think we had a little bit of a struggle in mid and jungle. And then we dumpster from solo with the actually straight up OP pick that I maybe should feel bad about playing in casuals, but I literally cannot play it in ranked. And even though that might seem a little counterintuitive, you know, it's kind of cringe when you just can't play a god in smite. So casuals is literally where we have to play it. And play it in ranked if I could. I have tried. I can't. They ban it always on both teams, too. It's ridiculous. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down